So yesterday we started dealing with miut, miut schayro. Number two on our list is baffling, difficult to explain. Miut derecheres. What does that mean? There are three different interpretations. One is bearing in mind the Gemara and Brochus I quoted yesterday. Haneig bohem mina gederecheretz. That is the language of Rabbi Shemuel. Haneig bohem mina gederecheretz. You need to work to provide for your family. And that is what our Braise means stating miu derecheretz. Minimize your work. So what is the difference between mi etzchero and mi etzcheretz? Pashtas, the logical suggestion would be, it is the same. It is the same. And what the Tana means to say, whether your parnosa comes from business or from manual labor, whether you derive your parnosa from the stock market or from the factory floor, from your job, as a doctor in the clinic or as a stockbroker, whether it's schayra or derecheretz, try to minimize and dedicate as much time as you can to Talmud Torah. That is one interpretation that we find in the Rishonim. The other interpretation is an Ashi on the spot. I mentioned many times, it's not very clear that this is actually Rashi, but definitely one of the great Rishonim. And I quote, Miu derecheretz, shelo yehei motzui in b'nei odom b'shuk. I think, minimize your socializing. And derecheretz doesn't necessarily mean parnosa, as in brochas lamad hey, but just spending time with people, socializing. So people <clears throat> like to socialize. Some people visit friends every other day. You go to a restaurant every other night. You come together. One of the great psychologists, recent generations, one of the fathers of modern psychology, stated a fundamental axiom and idea Man is a social being. Well, the great Amira Rava in Tana says the same. Do you remember the story of Choni Amagel that went to sleep and slept for 70 years and when he got up, he knew no one, no one knew him. And he cried out in despair, Oy chavruta, o mituta, give me death or give me, or give me friends. Yes, man is not a solitary being. We have a need to socialize with people. And that is why the Tana doesn't say no socializing, but miut derecheres. Spending time with people is time consuming. Interacting with other people. And sometimes, sometimes there also causes indirect bittle tighter. You get into problems with people. Sometimes you hurt someone's feelings. So, yes, you can't stay away from people. But, according to Rashi, that means, One could argue that Rashi also means business. Shuk is the marketplace. But I think perhaps Rashi means just Spend more time with yourself. Spend more time with your chaverim in Beis Medish. Spend more time with your Gemara. And don't spend so much time just socializing with people. Interpretation number three. That a cheret sometimes in Chazal means your intimate relationship with your spouse. And that is miyud a cheretz. So yes, it's part of healthy family life. Al Tavasihu Misho.
But you definitely need to spend time with your spouse, with your wife. Two years ago, I gave it to Russia about the importance of a smother and Talmud Torah. And a day later, a member of my community came over to me with a piece of paper, and I was so moved. I know this person for many years, but obviously I didn't know him well enough. So he came to me with a sheet, with a piece of paper, describing his Seder Yom from six o'clock in the morning when he gets up to 10.30 when he goes to bed. Every minute, what he does. And he brought me this sheet of paper to discuss with me how he could fit in some additional minutes of Asmoda, of Talmud Torah, because he was moved by what I said, and he wanted to do more for Talmud Torah. So every night on his sheet, from 8.30 to 9.30, I spent time with my wife, just talking over how was our day. Before I analyzed the sheet, my first comment was, I'm not going to touch this. This is holy. This, no compromise. You're going to keep on spending that hour with your wife every evening. So, yes. However, the Tana speaks about moderation, and that is miut derecheretz, according to interpretation number three. Derechaim, the maral, offers interpretation number four, and that is Derech Eretz, which means Mideis Teivos. Many times in Chazal, like Derech Eretz Kod Mule Teiro, Mideis Teivos. So how would we understand minimize your Mideis Teivos? No, that's awful. You gotta maximize your Mideis Teivos. So I think the only way to understand this interpretation is you need Mideis Teivos at least some, otherwise you'll get nowhere. Like Rebbeinu Yonah says and the Mishnah I just quoted, Derech Eretz Kadmer HaTayra, Shalaulam lo tishkon HaTayra, Ela beguf shuhu mitukan b'midas Tayras. So we discuss four different interpretations. What does Mirt Derech Eretz mean? My friends, we've got a lot of work to do. Have a beautiful day.